All right, today we're going to fix a lawnmower. I've got a, a small crack that I noticed oil is leaking out. So, see right there. And it goes right to there. I'm gonna clean all that up with my Dremel tool. I cleaned it up as much as I can. Getting all the grease and everything and grime off of it. And we are going to put this JB Weld in there and let it sit. And it says it's supposed to hold up to 5,020 PSI. So I've taken all the, the covers off that. Cleaned it all up. Even cleaned up underneath, which I'm gonna clean it out. I'm draining the oil out of it right now. I'm getting all the oil out of it. And uh, we'll get the Dremel tool. I've also taken some uh, some of my ice machine cleaner. It's got some acid in it, so it'll clean up all, any other oil. After I did degreaser, I'm, I'm gonna do that ice machine cleaner and get it all. That way that stuff will set down in that crack real good. So, all right, we'll follow up after we get done. All right, so we're back at repairing this crack. So I've taken the Dremel and I've cleaned off, you know, real good around it. Kind of pitted it here and there. That way uh, it'll stick and bond and I roughed it up real good with that diamond bit, like a an, diamond engraving bit. And uh, cleaned it all up and ran some more of that acid around it and washed it real clean. So now we're going to uh, let it dry for a minute and then we will put that uh, JB Weld mix on there and see how she does. All right, bye. All right, so we're gonna mix up the JB Weld. And uh, this is the one that I've got right here. Just the original. And uh, I wanna make sure that they're both equal parts. Mix it up, I'm just gonna use an old screwdriver that I have. Mix it all up, and then I'm gonna apply it onto the uh, crack that's right there on that aluminum case. And uh, then that's all I can do for today and let it cure for 24 hours. I'll get a picture of it, uh, a little video of it once I got it applied. So, all right, bye. All right. Well, here it is after I applied it. You know, I just mixed it all, mixed up there, two parts. Applied it really good. Kept it off of this groove because the crack started right there where the bottom half case is. And then just coated it and went a little further on each end. Um, which I cleaned it up with sandpaper and acid a little bit further from the crack. That way it'll bond real good. And then once this all hardens and sets up and cures, then I'll clean this up, sand this off, and uh, then we'll see how she does after I get it running and get some oil back in it and uh, test her out and see if she leaks oil. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. So we got, I went in and put the muffler back on, but we've got, uh, got it all touched up. I sanded it off real good and, uh, looks a lot better. Smooth it out. And, uh, we're going to put everything back together, put oil in it, start it up and run it and see how everything goes. Make sure we have no leaks. If not, uh, then we'll be good to go. You don't have to worry about anything else. All right, thanks, bye. All right, so I've done a test and then you can see where it's still leaking a little bit of oil through it. It's not like it was. It's not like squirting out or anything. It's just barely anything getting wet. And now notice this top bolt right here. I had to tighten down a little bit because it was coming from this gasket, but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it all cure a little more, a little dry, and uh, then I'm gonna clean that up, and I'm gonna put another coat on it. And uh, I'm this time I'm not gonna sand it all down. I think I may have sanded too much down when I did, and made it weak. So I'm gonna try that, 
see how that goes. All right, so we recoated this and uh, I cleaned it up real nice, got it down when there was no oil and I actually took some more acetone on it and uh, cleaned it up. Well, actually, uh, graffiti airplane, I guess it's airplane um, paint remover. Anyways, that cleans it up really good. Got any kind of oil out of there. And then I recoated over it after I cleaned up that crack. And uh, you know, we're just going to let it cure for 24 hours and then we'll see how she does. Alright, bye. Alright, so it's been 24 hours. And this is what I'd use right here uh, to clean that up. And it's got acetone. Where does it show that? Right there it contains acetone. But uh it worked really good for cleaning that cleaning that stuff off. Uh highly recommend this. But we are going to see what this temperature is reading here. And we are at about 78 degrees. So Got all the oil back in it and gonna start it up and uh, see how it, it does, see if it leaks or anything. All right, so I don't know if you can hear me, but it's been running probably for about 10, 20 minutes. And you can take more oil, no problem. As you can see we're running about 260 something like that 260 250 uh, no signs of any problems so let's check back here a little bit i'm probably gonna go ahead and go mowing get some mowing in here. all right so after mowing for about 30 minutes i have not had any issues with it whatsoever I put the cover back on there just so they get no debris or nothing in it. But you can see it's still, look at the exhaust is 435 degrees. Engine, about 230, somewhere in there, probably 250. From the higher ends. But everything is working good. No leaks or nothing. You can see probably better in here. Right here. Oh, looks good all the way up. Everything looks good now. We're not putting the putting the cover back on and finish mowing. Mowed. Let's see. Mowed all that fence line over there, all the way back around over there. Still got a bunch I do on this side, right in here. And that's it. And my little helper you know, passed out. You know, passed out. A fan on him. And that's it. Alright. Well, this job is done.